So now let me just give you a quick uh, walkthrough of what this plugin actually can do and what it what it looks like um, on a variety of different sites. So here's my authority blog. As you can see, the standard widget would just have disappeared by now. And with my very long blog posts, um, the opportunity to grab the visitor's attention would have been gone. Uh, but here we get to the sticky list builder widget. And there you go. You can see how wonderfully efficient this is. It, it really is an absolute dream come true for anybody who wants to grow their list. Let's take a look at one of our um, our very own blogger, Garish himself. As you can see, he's got a, a lot of subscribers. This again is his standard opt-in just to show you the difference there. And then we get to the sticky list builder widget and it just stays with your site visitors again, traveling down the page. It's a brand new blog that I put together again just to show you another configuration, different button here, one that I've um, opted to upload and once again uh, very, very nicely scrolling down there um, to see what that's going to do. We've got a very clear, fresh looking site here now with a with an ebook cover and this is the lovely Anna Hoffman site so I'll just scroll back up again. Um, she's a very, very popular blogger and as you can see her opt-in form has now disappeared out of eyesight. But as we scroll down where she has the sticky list builder and you can see how well it's configured and how attractive it looks. And the visitors now scrolling down, enjoying the content, are constantly reminded of this opportunity um, to opt in. Here's another one, Mark Thompson. He's very kindly left his original uh, widget in place so that we can see um, the how he's managed to configure the sticky list builder to look very very similar by choosing um, to upload graphics uh, which is a very attractive um, option there and let's take a quick look in the back end so you can see um, on the list settings page I'll just come back to this uh, and on the list settings page we've got all these auto responders that you can choose to configure some people who don't have an auto responder account might just opt to have their feed burner account um, grab the uh, the, the opt-in information and uh, it's really really simple to do you can choose whether you want the name um, and the email address uh, you grab some information from your HTML code from the autoresponder but full instructions are given in both a downloadable PDF for those who prefer to read and in video form for those who prefer to watch um, all of that can be found on the membership site along with some really attractive uh, bonuses and I'll let you find out about those when you get inside. Um, the dynamic widget preview, as you can see, is going to scroll down with you. And let me just show you an example of um, changing the hex code. It immediately updates so that all the time you can see exactly how this is going to look on your website. Um, and uh, it makes it very, very easy for you to sort out. You can promote with the plugin. It will automatically add the opportunity to add your affiliate link. You can choose sticky or non-sticky. It really does have an awful lot of features. So that is your sticky list builder, the standard version. Um, and I really do hope that you'll find it as appealing and as attractive as everyone else who we've shown this to so far. Thanks for watching.